This is the KTLA 5 News at 1 p.m. All right, much of the uh, brush burning in these uh, raging wildfires hasn't burned for 30 or 40 years. What can be done to minimize the wildfire risk in the future? Dr. Reese Halter is president of Global Forest Science and one of the most recognized and respected scientific experts on tree science and wildfire outbreaks. And he joins us today live on the phone. Dr. Halter, thanks so much for being with us. I know you're very busy at this time. Thanks, Asha. Hey, quick question. First of all, why are these wildfires so bad this season? Well, we may be getting a, a real first-hand glimpse of the future, that being we're in uh, the third year of a drought, and this fire, this monster fire, is being driven primarily by dryness. Now, usually we have to also contend with these ferocious Santa Ana winds that pour fire out of the canyons. This baby is all dry, and it's, it's frightening. And as the report just prior to mine came on, one of the concerns now with 90,000 acres of light is something called firebrands. And these are fine shards of ash mm. that get up into the atmosphere, and they can float 15 miles in front of the fire, which means when they fall down, they can start another fire. We've seen that in the past. Uh, Dr. Halter, you talked about the fact that uh, the, the dryness is essentially driving this particular fire. States like Mexico have, have done things to clear this sort of tinder, uh, dry and flammable brush. Talk, talk about that a little bit. Well, what, what we, unusual times call for unusual actions. And, and what uh, we have been after Governor Schwarzenegger, I personally, over the last four years, have been on his heels, uh, that is uh, to follow what Governor Richardson of New Mexico had to do. They lost almost 100 million <coughs> pinion pines, the state tree. The combination of climate change and these ferocious uh, native beetles took all these trees down. They're, they were standing dead surrounding the capital city, Santa Fe. And the governor, Governor Richardson, used prison inmates to clear the land and protect Santa Fe. Now, it, 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 it's not a huge leap of faith. Currently, the CDF is using prison inmates on the fire lines at any one time. As many as, I'm told, 20,000 inmates can be uh, uh, giving us a hand. What we're suggesting is in the off-fire season, that is in and, you know, it used to be an off-fire season. This is a climate change. Fire season in Southern Cali is 12 months a year now. It used to be eight or nine months. We're suggesting in December and January to exchange the chainsaws with brush saws and get the prison inmates in the forest behind our city to thin these forests right. out and, and emulate what nature would normally do with fire. We live in a fire forest. Uh, Dr. Halter, there is so much to talk to you about with regard to fire and trees. Uh, we're going to have to cover some of this ground on another day. Thanks so much for being with us today, and I think what we're saying here is being proactive. Yeah. We yeah. should start thinking Thanks, about Frank. Being, Thanks, Asha. being proactive, and that might be the key for the future um, to fight these wildfires. So once again, thank you, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you again in the future. Thanks very much.